climbs down from her canine mount. There's only one way across. Alice steps closer to the water, peering at the dead, ashen faces floating here and there. Lost my merchandise, have I? With a courageous scowl, she leaps from the bank, landing on the nearest head. Alice picks her way over the face, then jumps onto the next head, landing on all fours. Standing, she clambers over the lifeless features, then hops onto another head. Her foot dips into its open mouth as she scrambles along. She tugs it out and shakes clear, slimy liquid from her shoe. The young woman trots over to the next head, then leaps to the opposite shore. Jogging ahead, she stares up at a stone wall blocking access to the castle. It towers high above her, and a single brick is twice her height. Alice discovers a chink between two lower blocks, peers through, then looks across the moat toward the friendly bloodhound. Bayard, the hat! She raises an arm, prompting him. The bloodhound nips the hat in his teeth, turns a circle, and lets go. The hat arcs high over the castle wall and lands on an inner hedge. Alice darts through the chink in the wall. Reaching a stately garden, she wanders through waist-high grass, then takes cover behind a bush. Ahead, the dodo pulls a live flamingo from a caddy slung over his shoulder and presents it to the Red Queen. Her courtiers look on. 